ICANN is a uh, Israeli human rights and peace organization. It was started in 1997 in order to resist the Israeli occupation over the Palestinians, but beyond that, uh, to bring about a just peace between Israelis and Palestinians, which means that we're not only trying to end the occupation, we're trying to reach a wider agreement with the Palestinians and a regional agreement about a just peace. El conflicto israelí-palestino es muy antiguo. Su historia reciente se sitúa en 1947, cuando la Asamblea General de la ONU aprobó la creación del Estado de Israel en territorios palestinos. Esta resolución provocó que millones de palestinos sean desplazados. Desde ese momento la ocupación originó un enfrentamiento que aún no termina. Los palestinos reclaman Jerusalén como suya y exigen la creación de un Estado palestino. Con este antecedente se han registrado dos guerras, la de los seis días en 1967 y la de Yom Kippur en 1973. Estos enfrentamientos no terminan. De un lado algunos palestinos se inmolan y atentan contra infraestructuras y ciudadanos israelíes, y por otro lado, Israel con el apoyo incondicional de Estados Unidos ha construido el muro de Cisjordania y ha demolido 28.000 viviendas palestinas. La comunidad internacional no ha sido ajena al problema. Numerosas organizaciones internacionales se han manifestado en contra de los procedimientos palestinos, pero sobre todo en contra de las violaciones de los derechos humanos en las que ha incurrido Israel. En respuesta, el pueblo judío se ampara en su derecho a la legítima defensa. Por su inestabilidad, el conflicto siempre está a punto de convertirse en una guerra de grandes dimensiones. To start it, I have to start it from uh, before 1948. My family has been forced to leave our village Al Mishaga in 1948 because it is one of the 418 villages demolished by Israeli Haganah that time. So they moved and they lived in old city of Jerusalem. For another time, my family has been forced to leave old city of Jerusalem to a camp called Shafat refugees camp. It's very near here. And that's happened after 1967. They give us a room, which is about three and a half meters by six meters in the camp. I graduated from a vocational training center in Jerusalem as a construction technician supervisor. Then I went to Saudi, to Saudi Arabia. I worked there for 10 years. Then when I come back to my family home in the refugee camp, I saw that it's already overcrowded of people. My brothers, my sisters, their daughters and sons, and I'm the hero who works in Saudi Arabia and has the money. So I have to find me a place outside the camp. I bought this piece of land here, where we are here now. And like anybody in the world, I applied to get a building permit from the Israeli authorities. From 1990 until 1994, I applied three times to get the building permit. But all the time it has been refused by the Israeli authorities. Anata es una ciudad palestina ubicada en el centro de Cisjordania, cuatro kilómetros al noreste de Jerusalén. Este lugar ha sido uno de los más afectados por las demoliciones. Beidaravilla es la casa de Salim Shawamre, que ha sido demolida seis veces. Aika trabaja con voluntarios de varios países del mundo, gente comprometida con la filosofía de resistencia a la ocupación israelí en Palestina y que desea fervientemente la paz entre esos dos pueblos. In order to help people learn more about ICAD and what we do in terms of the summer rebuilding camps, we use our website, 
We have um, people on an email list. We use the Facebook facility. We work collaboratively with several organizations also involved in one form or another with this issue. And through those type of networks, people do hear about the chance for the internationals to come and be part of uh, an opportunity like this. And I should also say that we do facilitate ICAD's extended study tours. So if people want to come here for between, say, 7 to 11 days or sometimes longer, we have those type of in-depth study tours on offer as well. So they don't stay out here at Beit Arabia, they will stay in hotels, but we do provide an educational program for them. So our aim is to get as many people as possible over here, witnessing the reality and getting in-depth analysis. There's many opportunities for people to come in and see, but not really to gain political understanding. Un diagnóstico de los daños causados por la demolición y el trabajo coordinado entre voluntarios y directivos del ICAD es indispensable para asignar tareas a cada miembro. El objetivo es limpiar el terreno y edificar un lugar simbólico de resistencia. Para Salim, es difícil recordar uno de los momentos en que su casa fue destruida. Until the black date in my life in, and in my family life, which is 9th of July 1998. After more than four and a half years, while I'm sitting eating my lunch with my family, I heard a big voice outside the home. I get out to see. I saw my home surrounded by soldiers and all the nearby areas surrounded by soldiers. And they asked me if this is my home. I said, yes, it's my home. They said to me, no, it's not your home now. You have 15 minutes to take your belongings and family out because we want to demolish this house. I told them, what are you saying? I pushed him outside the door. He's surrounded by soldiers. They start kicking me on my back, on my head with their weapons. And they arrest me and they put me outside the home. My wife, Arabia, she closed the door. Then they start breaking the windows around, throwing inside a tear gas to force my six kids and my wife get out of the home. That day, my wife lost her consciousness and they took her to hospital. And my kids screaming and crying and I'm freezing to the ground, arrested, can't do anything to them. ICAD really began, like a lot of left groups, as an activist group. We didn't have in the beginning the idea of building or this or that. Go ahead. Um, a, we wanted to resist the occupation. This is after the Oslo peace process collapsed and we, we, we were activists. But as we began to work more, we began to say that, see that look, we're learning a lot here. We know what Israel's doing, we know what's happening on the ground, we know why houses are being demolished and so on. And so we really, and, and people began to ask us, why is Israel demolishing homes? How does it does it? What is Israel's policy and so on? So in a sense, in a sense, by being here, we've learned the way the occupation works. And so that allowed us to raise our level from just resistance and political activism to advocacy. We can go out, I can explain to government ministers, I can explain to television uh, uh, reporters or journalists, I can explain to churches or trade unions, the general public, what's happening here, why there's an occupation, what Israel is doing. Israel, from our point of view, is responsible for this, why it isn't making peace. So all of that we can do because we've been here. We, we see, we're with the Palestinians, we see what's happening, we see what Israel's doing. Israelis don't see this. Israelis have never seen a house demolition. They've never seen the wall. They've never seen the occupation, Israelis themselves. So what we're trying to do, but because we're Israelis and we're Jews, we have 
more of a voice than Palestinians do. Israelis all the time saying about the world that it's a security war. But from point of us as Palestinians, it's not a security war. It's a thief, it's, it's a stealing land war. They are stealing the richest soil, the richest land in the West Bank and put it inside that wall. They are controlling the sources of water in the West Bank and put it inside that wall. So they are stealing the land, the Palestinians' land, the richest land in, the, in Palestine and the sources of water, they are stealing it in the name of, the, of their security. If they are making this wall for security and they are, they, are, they are not lying for that, then they have to do it on the green line, on the borders of the West Bank. Then they will see Palestinians going with them and working as volunteers to finish it. But they are using the security to steal the land and to steal the sources of the water and still the richest soil in Palestinian territories and you know and at the end it's only it's a security war but it's not it's not a security I can bring a ladder now and go up the wall and go on the other side and nobody will tell me where are you going My name is Paul Racco. I'm from New Jersey in the United States. I learned about this camp from a friend last year. I studied in Beirut, Lebanon, and he turned me on to ICAD because he has worked with other organizations and he informed me about ICAD. I believe that ICAD is very important for demonstrating to the locals, the Palestinians, that their story is getting out there that the rest of the world does know what's happening here and that, um, that it's not all just one side that we haven't forgot about them. Personally, I'm very interested in spreading awareness among Jewish Americans, especially my peers. Uh, there's a policy in Israel called birthright where any Jew around the world gets a free trip to Israel for two weeks where they get shown around the country and it's very propagandistic and they get, uh, very much support the country and they don't tell you anything about what's going on in Palestine. They don't give you, tell you anything about the occupation. So with a Jewish girlfriend who is going to be going on birthright in winter, I'm very interested in advocating for those that go on birthright to take the extra time after their two weeks to come to the Palest to come to Palestine, come to the territories, come to the and witness the occupation to see the other side of what's really happening here. I'm Felicia. Okay. I'm from can Finland. Okay. You, can you uh, it's my second okay. time at yeah. the ICAD camp, but what? my third time in Palestine. I was at a camp with another organization before. Um, I've learned very much I think every time I'm, I've been here, it's been a different experience, and um, especially this year, we're not building a house like last year. We are building this kind of kind of remembrance monument, so it's quite a different experience. Um, I also think a big part of the big part of the camp are the lectures and the people we meet and the places we go to and see and. I think that also helps with the construction um, to kind of contextualize what, what we are doing. Now we are building tiles. Mm -hmm. I've become the tile helper of Riyadh. Um, I'm, I'm almost done with this area. Yeah. I think once you come here and you see what the occupation is, it's kind of hard to forget this. And also in Finland we have uh, ICAD Finland. Um, and it's quite active and we try to do ad advocacy at home as well so 
So I think coming here it kind of keeps you going back home also. My name is Mike Bergmeier, I'm uh, from Holland, but I currently live in Paris uh, and I came to ICAT the first time about three years ago when we took a day tour to some of the, uh, to the wall and see some of the demolished houses. And it was a very good tour and then my two daughters actually signed up for the camp uh, two years ago and another and one of the two daughters again last year, she did it twice. And they told me that uh, participating in this building camp was going to be good for my education. So I decided to join this year. And it's been very interesting and very good. A bit hot, but uh, a lot of fun. And also because the building is, uh, the building work is interspersed with tours to interesting places in the West Bank and meetings with very interesting people. So we learn a lot about the politics of demolition and the politics of occupation and how the travesty of history has turned this place into an a, uh, open-air prison. Um, and the big challenge now is to uh, go home and spread that word in a way that's effective to make more people aware of the horror that's going on. And particularly politicians, because I feel that politicians in Europe um, have either no idea what's going on or they completely ignore it if they do have an idea, because they are so one-sided pro-Israel that uh, it hurts the Palestinian cause. I'm Anne, I'm from England. I've been to Palestine on a tour before. And I was so shocked by what I saw. I felt it was important to come to make a stand for human rights, in particular the rights of children. It's unimaginable having your house demolished when you're preparing breakfast for your family. And your children are so scared they run off into the hills and they have to be they're not found eight hours later and they continue to have psychological problems as adults. I just can't imagine that. So the camp is brilliant. It's a lovely example of democratic working, working together, international cooperation, lots of nice people with similar points of view, not too many arguments working really well. My name is Bruno Yanti. I am from Helsinki, Finland. This is my fifth camp and the third consecutive time or consecutive year that I bring other people from Finland. Um, I'm the founder of the Finnish branch of ICAD and it's become an annual habit for us to bring people mainly from Helsinki area actually but people from Finland to to the camp to get to know the conflict to participate in uh, building or trying to build a, a sustainable peace I think our message to the people back home in, in Europe mainly where we operate in the EU is to or the message we're trying to bring to those people is that there is a a state of prolonged occupation taking place in the occupied West Bank and in the besieged Gaza. Um, there are also serious human rights violations occurring in Israel, and this is all a all part of a systematic policy by the state of Israel against the non-Jewish population of the region of Israel-Palestine and um, it is a very it is a brutal occupation a the longest ongoing military occupation after the, the Second World War uh, its 15th birthday 
um, will take place in a few years. And uh, it is our assessment that the reality, the human rights reality here is not very well known. It is known that there is a conflict here, but the details and the nature of the conflict is, is not known. And our message is that um, there is a whole host of serious human, human rights violations occurring here. Um, and we try to give those details to the general public. Um, also, another message of ours is that the conflict can be resolved. It is not an ancient conflict. It is not a clash of civilizations or it's not a clash of religions. Uh, it's a political conflict uh, and it can be solved like any other conflict. To be completely honest, as far as I can tell, the Israel-Palestine conflict is, is more, more simple than many other armed conflicts or political conflicts around the world. Um, whether it is a fully independent Palestine in the international borders and a resolution to the refugee question based on the right of return, or whether it's one secular democratic state with equal rights to all, regardless of their ethnicity or religion. Um, the basis has to be international law and it has to be equality. Um, so I'd say this is the sort of the, 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 the uh, two sides of the project we are involved in. You know, my message is no wolves can, uh, can, can, can prevent, can prevent the, 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 the anger of, 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 of the people. Be good, live as neighbors, put the justice between us, you and us, and between us justice, then we will live more better, thousand times better than putting a wall between us. Because, you know, when you put the anger inside the people, they will never forget that. Even if they can't do it today, they will do it tomorrow, they will do it after tomorrow. Because when you steal my land, I will never forget that. When you, when you put a settlement on my land and, you know, force me to get out of it, this, I will never forget it. If I forget it, my, my sons will never forget it. So justice and peace is better for the two nations, not these walls. These walls will not, will not protect them. But justice will protect them more than that walls, because they are protected.